Yo, what's up? It's William. Well, I want to try something different, so I figure, well, let's do a mail call. Yay, mail. Okay, so I'm going to go from eh, kind of cool, I guess. Let's put one, box, one thing in this box. Loot crates! Yeah, last couple of loot crates kind of sucked. But there's something in here that I actually want. It's really cool. Yeah. And there's like three other things that. One. I'll explain it when I open it. Okay. So that's one thing. Second thing that is great is in here. It's really cool. I can't wait to open that because I can't tell you what it is yet. But gotta leave the awesome stuff to last. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Yeah. I'll explain what this is because it's awesome. I mean, look at this. It's, it's packed awesome to you, man. This guy knows how to pack a comic. Yeah. You already knew. You probably figured out what it was. So. This is awesome. Should I go from awesome to eh? Or eh to awesome? Let's get the best stuff out of the way first. But this, I want this. I'll open it now. I will wait. I'm patient. So, let me get. See? Knife. People name their knives. Why do people do that? You know? Why? It's my trusty blue knife. I'm just gonna eat. No. Just a blue knife that can't open nothing because <laughs> it's dull. <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's gonna be, op be able to open this. I don't think it will be, but it's more of a pull tug that actually cut. Cause I don't. This is like I got it from work. It's like, yeah, have you ever met a company that you work for actually hands out pocket knives to employees? How 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 really smart is that? It's like I even I'm kind of friends with the boss, I guess, but I was like, Can we uh have a little chat? You're passing pocket knives out to employees? He says, yeah, that's why I'm putting them down and walking away really quick. It's like, yeah, but still, the concept of handing out to employees. Yeah. Okay. So, we are unboxing Luke Carey. I don't know if I'm still getting it. I might go to um, Horror Block. You know, I like a few of the t-shirts from Luke Carey, but Horror Block, they have t-shirts too. I don't know if they're a good loot crate, but they're horror t-shirts. I don't have any horror t-shirts. Do I? No, I don't think I do. I well, I really can't count those. Those are... So here we go. It actually cut it. <laughs> My knife works. I shouldn't name you. Mr. Bluey. Nah. Okay. You know how everybody else does it? They put it over here. It's like, let's not look. Or, let's show you what's in there. Woo! Dudes, it's a freaking box of crap in it. Lord. Okay. First it comes in is a box. Is a book. And it tells you everything that's in there. Okay. And, and the t-shirt. I'm not even in the freaking... Look at this. The original since 1981. Yeah, it's from Donkey Kong. Can you see it? It's like, oh, look. Yeah. Mario. Donkey Kong. Nintendo. Another work shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Threw it. Okay. Now. Do you see this stupid thing? People get it, and they look at it and go... What is it? What am I supposed to do with it? Is it 
was like a tiki cup thing, you know? And there's different ones in there. It's like, what do we do with these? I don't know. They're supposed to be cups. Yeah. What you're supposed to do is you buy the whole thing and then you stack it up. What's the word for it? Uh, what's the stupid word for it? I don't know. Tiki's. I don't know. But I wanted the middle one with Shredder. You see that? That's what I want. But I think it actually shows you which one's in the front, which is stupid. I don't want that one. Yep. Look, you see? It's supposed to be like a shot glass. And then you just stack them, and then you stack them. It's like whoop de doo you know? Woohoo! It's a shot glass, basically. Where's Ninja Turtle? It's not the one I wanted. So what am I supposed to do with it? I'm not a Turtles fan. I'm not. Yeah, I shouldn't throw shit, but you know what? What am I going to do with that? Like a trade for something, you know? What am I going to trade it for? No, no one, I don't know any bills. I really don't know any nerds around here. I mean, there's, I don't have, my friends really, no. I have one friend, a friend who gets a little crazy, but he won't sell me his shit that I want. So, here is the next thing. Replica. Captain America. Shield. Yeah. Okay. So, here is my story. What I can do with this. Alright. Yeah, it's really cool. La, 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 la. I'm not a Captain America fan. I was back in the 80s. Yeah, early 80s. But... Okay, so this is what I am thinking about doing, okay? So I'm there at the Comic Con, as you know, in Grand Rapids, right? But the only guy who's going to be there I want to meet is Ken Holder, who played Jason, right? So I'll put it on the right way. So I bought an extra pop for that. I told you about that last video. So this is how it goes, supposedly. Okay, so I guess this isn't supposed to go on here. How the mother hell are you supposed to get it on? You know the back of it? There it goes. There, nope. Okay, there. So, there we go. Stupid as it is. Yeah, I know, it's the first shield of the way it's supposed to look, but yeah, it's just... Nothing in here is really, except for that. When I get to that, you understand why that is more important than all this. But, yeah. So, here's my idea with this. Okay. Alright. So, there's a Comic-Con in Elkhart, I think it's called. And that's not far from me. And guess who's going to be there? The dude is named Reb Brown. He played in both of the Captain America movies back in 79, and I think the other one came out 80 or 81, go back to back. So what I'm thinking about is taking this with me and having him sign it right there. I mean, how cool would that be? Actually having somebody who played Captain America sign the Captain America shield. Most well, people are like, well, it's kind of stupid to get mess the shield up. The guy who played Captain America signing the shield. Yeah, the movies are campy and cheesy and all stuff, but you know, think about it. Either that, uh oh, is it? I come out, I come in, but don't come out. I'm gonna end up breaking it. Crap. Well, I don't really need to take this, just a shield, so, this isn't coming back, <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm going to put this on my stupid shelf until I can take it with me, so, okay, this is, this is basically what it, what it comes down to. Uh, stupid card. Official prop. Okay, so 
either I can have him sign this, which to me makes more sense because it is sealed, or I can buy the Captain America 75th Anniversary Funko Pop and have him sign that. His, his autographs are only like 40 bucks. So, I think you have him sign both of them, but here's the other dilemma. Not really a dilemma because, okay, so Dean Coon, Dean uh, Kane, Dean, Dean Kane's going to be there, who plays Superman in Lewis and Clark. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis and Clark. That was called. Okay. So he's going to be there. So I can. I found this really cool pop of Superman, but for some reason it has Batman on a logo and Superman under. But it's just the way the pop looks, right? It's like here's like an angry face and showing his teeth. It just looks like a really cool pop, you know. So I might try and get that and um, have him sign that. Have a autograph of someone playing Captain America and. Even though I'm not really a big fan of either of them, and Dean Kane's autograph is like 80 bucks. That is a lot for a character I don't really care about, and an actor I don't really care about. So it's like, why would I do that? But still, I want to because, hey, I don't know. I still watch the show, and Dean Cain played in a few sci-fi movies, sci-fi channels that actually were cheesy, what their movies always cheesy, but it wasn't that bad. So it's like, I don't want to, but yeah, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to have, but I don't know. Okay, so this is the Loot Crate pen. Oh, you're not going to be able to, I know upside down, excuse me. I think this is the 12th one, or, I got it all last year, I put them on my wall up there, you can't really see them, but this turtle's I'm not a turtle fan, I guess no, so, uh, okay, so here is the cool thing out of the box, I still don't know what to do with this stupid little, it still bugs me. Yeah, so we love you. If you did, you put better crap in the box. I know it's only 20 bucks, but still, come on, you know? Look at that shield. Why didn't they put that damn shield in there? I mean, yeah, the, the, the old one's kind of cool, but why didn't they put that shield in there, you know? I don't know. There was so much crap they could have put in here, you know? It's just... Oh, yeah. The comic. <laughs> I saw it. Got sidetracked. So, here it is. Look at that. Look up there. Look up there. What's that say? What's that say? What's that say? Yeah. Yeah. Check that out. Reproduction. Certification authority. Yeah. So yeah, it's a reprint of Action Comics number one. Inside, I'm jumping around going, woohoo, what, what, yeah. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool, though. I'm not taking it out of the wrapper. I don't think I took, I take any of them out of the wrapper I have. I don't think so. I'm keeping it in here. It's boarded, it's bagged, I might put it into another bag just to keep it safe, but there's no way I'm taking it out of the bag. I saw videos of people, of people doing uh, Loot Crate unboxings, and they're like, Phew, taking it out, putting their hands in grease all over, and oil fingers all over the comic. Yeah, not going to happen. Not gonna happen. So it's in the bag already. It's gonna stay in the bag if I really want to look at it that bad. Even though I know it's paper and not plastic inside the pages, because other one, other people will open it with theirs because I want to see it. But still, it's like there's no way, no way I am taking this out of the bag. I mean, hell to the no.
so no. Hell to no. So okay. Yeah. Not doing that. Okay. I still this still I still wanted that one right there. That's what I wanted. Kinda of ticks me off because I'm not a Turtles fan at all. And it's just it's a little when I open it, it's a little bad. It's when I open it so bad. Well, I can wait. I can wait. Okay, so what's in the box? Let's guess. Let's guess what's in the box. It's something that I wanted for since I didn't come out. And it has to do I'll give you a hint. It has to do with villain. And an awesome movie this villain was in. Can you guess? Oh, you probably guessed it right. What else would I buy that has villains, you know? And it has to do with my collection. Yeah. It actually works. I still can't believe this knife actually works. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is the first. I mean, <laughs> look at this. I mean, that's awesome. Why waste Christmas paper if you can use it for wrapping? You know, I mean, that's awesome. I never thought about that. You have extra Christmas wrapping and you don't want to throw it away? You use it for stuffing. I mean, that's basically all it is. But still. That's a good idea. It's kind of hard. Okay. And it's in any more? Okay, so, it's in bubble wrap too, which is awesome. All this paper, look at all this paper. I never thought about using this. Why has anybody else thought about using this? I mean, it's tough, kind of, you know? And still, it'll keep things safe. It's a good way to, to reuse, recycle, you know? Give somebody else your trash. But it works, though. So that's cool. Okay, so it's still in bubble wrap. See that? Isn't that cool? Bubble wrap. Uh, okay, so are you ready? I've been wanting this for so long. So long. Here we go. Ba boom! Yeah, the penguin. Door. And Batman. Kevin. Yeah, uh, let's ignore these, alright? Let's just focus on him. Uh, how cool is that? Okay, look at all of them if you want. How awesome is that? And look at this. Yeah. Yeah, when I saw this, and I think online, I saw it somewhere. It's like, I'll never get that. Because that's going to be expensive as hell. I paid like 20 bucks for Someone was selling it. It's like, I just want to get rid of it. It's like, dude, that's mine. I'm not taking it out. Not taking it out. Not taking it out. So, I have all of the penguin dorbs, I think, now. Plus, it's my cool Keaton. So, that's awesome. So, if I freak out one thing. Yeah. But at least, look at that penguin. God, I don't want to take it out so bad. I just want to look at it. They don't even have. This is what pisses me off the most, right? 
Okay, so they had a metallic penguin, they had a normal penguin pop, and they have the pop from Gotham, a penguin, right? And then they have the Batman and Pasta penguin, which I got, alright? They don't have the pop for the penguin from Batman Returns. Does that make any sense at all? I still like this. This is I like this. It's so cool. It's in good shape. It's awesome. Early. Yeah, I'm happy. So why don't they have the penguin pop from the Diamond Returns? The most Okay, I like the original, alright. So cool, but they need the penguin pop from Batman Returns. I mean, it's logical. Why would they not? How many Batman do they have? About ten thousand Batman pops. I mean, seriously, they switched the color. Okay, I, I know I've gone through this before. I know that. Okay, they've gone and they changed the color five thousand times, and you people still buy this. And I would not go into a rant. I'm not going to a rant this time. I feel like it's a good idea. You know? Grocery bags is a good idea because you can, people have so many of those. Put them in a bag. Keep things safe. The wrapping paper? There? I'm not mad at all. I can dig it. You know? It's actually a good idea. I mean... You have it all over for Christmas. Why throw it away? Use it for packing. It saves you money. As long as you put enough in there, it makes it so it can't move, you know? I don't have a problem with this at all, you know? Not even a little bit. Not even the slightest. It's all cool. Okay, so we did the... Uh, comic book is awesome in this, by the way. Still not opening it. And we did... The great. Now, it's time Dun -dun 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 -dun. for the awesome. Okay. Okay, there's a story behind this. <coughs> Y'all know the great legend live. I can't do it the way he does it. I'm not going to try. Okay, so he had an auction. I think it was last. Saturday, I think it was Saturday or Sunday, and how do you open this? I don't want to touch the comic with my play. <laughs> okay, so this is not cool. Great packaging, but <laughs> open it. So they sold a lot of great stuff. I mean, the auction was awesome. The viewership is going up, which is cool. It means more people will be buying, hopefully, from people. This is like... Not even fair. Okay, wait. Okay, that... Okay, I got it. Good. Okay. Don't need... Oh, my... What side is it on? Okay, so I can do it like this. All right. I do not want to put the knife even close to the comic. So, let's make sure... Okay, cardboard. Awesome packaging. Oh, I love it when people know how to package. You know? That means, one, the comic will be in awesome condition. Two, it won't get bent in the, in the mail. And three, you'll buy more from this person because you're thinking when you're buying it, this kind of looks out of pack, so. Or you're gone. Okay. So here in auction, and so they all, I think there was four people selling stuff, and I think everybody sold something, maybe not, I can't remember that far back, and I don't even want to get the guy's name wrong if I say it, but I believe it was Bear. I don't want, I don't know if he wants me to give out his name. I don't know if you want to do that or not. So I will say 
His name is Russell. But that's all I'm gonna give you. So, awesome dude, man. For having this. Right. Awesome without it, but still. I've watched the last three episodes, three or four, three or four, I can catch them. Because I, I wait for notifications to pop up saying, hey, there's an auction. And between waiting for a notification and this laptop, which is a nice laptop. You know, I like you. Between you and me, piece of crap. I mean, thing freezes up more times than I can count. And when I'm watching the auction, it has a tendency of freezing. And it takes like two or three minutes for it to come on. And by the time it comes back on and I get to watch it again, the comments just go by and I miss them. But this one, I caught. And I heard, it, heard the, um, what it was going for. And I emailed the seller quick as I could between my laptop working and not working. And, uh, I got lucky. I mean, really lucky. People should have jumped on this, and they didn't. I don't know why they didn't. But, oh, there's, oh, it's backwards. Oh, it's not backwards. Dude, this guy takes care of his comics when they send them. I mean, seriously. Look, look at this, okay? First, you have an envelope, okay? You figure it's gonna be flimsy. No, there's bubble wrap inside. You see that? Bubble wrap. Awesome. And he sends it with cardboard on both sides. You see that? Both sides. Man, who cares about his customers? And then I figure, hey, I'm gonna look at it and see that. No. Look at this. He put cardboard on both sides. That is awesome. You know, look at this. Stickies on the on the bags, not tape. So you easy to remove. You know, I don't ever tape any of my bags. I rather stick it inside on the back of the cardboard. So this is off. Awesome. It comes right off. That that's off. Awesome. This man, Russell, dude. High praise unpacking, dude. I think it was Bear. I don't know which one it was. Dude, somewhere on here, write your channel name, you know, and your and your name, the Bear, whatever it is, somewhere when you send stuff, so people can praise the way you pack, you know, so people know who to buy from. Yeah, you can trust all of them. They all probably pack really good, but I like shouting out people who know what the hell they're doing, you know? So, I'm, I'm hoping it's Bear. Big Bear, Fuzzy Bear. I just Bear something. Russell, okay, fine. Russell. I'm not giving him his last name out. Okay, Russell, you're awesome, dude. I mean, there's nothing could have happened with this comic. Okay, which way? This is open. Ready? I want to see it first. This is let's go check this out, dudes. This is awesome. I love this cover. Look at that. Dark Savage. Yeah. I don't want to take it out of. I don't want to take it out. God, I'm gonna read it. It out. I'm, I'm in the comics for the art, you know. I love the art and the cover. I love the art inside. So mostly I look at it once I buy the number ones that are in this age group, a little higher. I take them out. I read them really carefully, and I put them back. But I'm afraid of taking this out because this is really old. I don't want to wreck it. Anymore. I don't want to. I'm just afraid to take it out. Yeah, there's some spots on here. Blemishes, little things right here. That, they, that he brought up when he's. When he, oh, man. Oh. Which 
trying to find a date on here. 1972. Oh, you, oh. You smell it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sad. But I love the, how many guys love the smell of paper comics, you know? You know, the smell just comes off here. I mean, it's just, um, Oh, I love how smell. Oh, man. Can't wait to read this. This is awesome. Oh. Just look at this, man. The comics today are not like this, you know? Look at this. I'm going to be really careful. Just, just look at it, you know? Just trying to be really careful, okay? So, I can't see. You know? It's just awesome. It's just really... I love the old ads. <laughs> I don't know I don't know this bad guy's name. This villain here. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> like a lizard. What's his name on the front? Honey for a superhero. Okay. Death. His story is high. I'm sorry. If you guys know his name, please put it down before I find it. Because. God. God I'm not careful enough. Okay, now let's see if I can find his name. Uh, doesn't say. Doesn't, I don't know. Doesn't say it all. I can't put this back in here. I'll be taken out twice. I'll just show you guys who wants to read it. It stays in here. So that is just, that is just a cool comic. People should have jumped on it and they didn't. Uh, I just like the cover. Yeah. Well, that's about it. It's getting late. Not late, but it's getting long. I don't like making long videos. I feel like I'm ranting on something stupid. So, okay. This, I'm going to get signed by Reb. Brown, maybe. And that's about it. Mm. Let's just let's do that. Oh, wrong way. Let's do that. Okay, how's that? Cool, huh? <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> all right, y'all. I appreciate you all watching this. Whoever does, and Hey, yeah, uh, I appreciate y'all watching this. Take the time out of your day to watch this. And hope you all have a good day. And just remember, death to all superheroes. Long live the villains. Yeah, you know. They all die. Just kill them all. <laughs>